Okay, I'm happy to be back with you again here for our um, our third and and final uh, point on this, uh, and we're talking about where do you invest? Where are your thoughts? Your your where's your heart? Where's your focus? Where do you look? Uh, and remember, what do you? It's also about what you love. Remember that one part where Jesus said, "You can't love two masters." If your master is money and your own advantage and getting as much and accumulating as much as you can in whatever area, your own reputation, your own, your money, uh, your own riches in whatever form, if that's really your focus, uh, you can't love that master and love God as your master both. You'll end up despising the one. It'll, it'll start bothering you that God sort of gets in the way of that. Or the other way around, you know, your 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 attitude toward all that will change the more you the deeper you get into actually loving God as your master. So uh, this is about spiritual inner heart emotional mental investment. Now, if any of you wonder about the power of the mind and the, the inner preoccupation level of our hearts, uh, there's a there's a passage in the in the Bible and I can't remember exactly where that is right now where it says, "As a man thinks." so is he as a man thinks that's that's who he is uh, and then also paul says um, in romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 uh, do not be conformed to this world don't be like everybody else but be transformed how by the renewing of your mind be trans how do, how do you change to be more like god more like jesus you change through the process of the renewing of your mind of where you are mentally and and spiritually and emotionally investing yourself where you're looking with your eyes, what you're focusing on. So this last section, you you know this section well. It's it's really about worry. Jesus says, don't worry about get, having enough to clothe yourself. Don't worry about uh, having enough for your, your food. Don't you know that God cares for you deeply? Don't, don't, now worry, what is worry? Worry is a focus of our mind and heart and our emotions. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a negative feeling associated with how important something is that we, we really feel like we need and we need to get. And we're, we're, we're anxious that we won't be able to get it. And so we preoccupy ourselves with it. This is about our inner investment in what deeply concerns us, worry. You, you know the, the passage by the Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. He says, don't worry. Do not worry about anything. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer and supplication with you, thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Don't, don't worry, but lift it up to God and pray. Um... Uh, don't go to other uh, mood-altering substances like, like whatever, entertainment, drugs, sex, uh, uh, movies, um, uh, success. Don't depend on those things to find peace. Turn to God in prayer. How about that for a, a, an activity for transformation of our inner spiritual investment? And so Jesus concludes this passage by saying, God knows you need all these things. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, don't be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Don't seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom of God. I love this passage, as you know. You've heard me talk about it over and over again. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness a good way to summarize the Sermon on the Mount. Invest yourself spiritually and emotionally and mentally in, with your focus of your eyes on God's kingdom and his righteousness. And all of these th other things will fall into place. Who are you in love with? Which master? The master of wealth and everything working out and doing really well here on earth? Or your master in heaven? money or God? Um, where are you storing up treasure for yourself in order to be rewarded? Here or in God? 
What is? What are your eyes like? Where do you focus? What are you thinking and looking at? What do you see when you look out at the world? What do you see when you look at your family? What do you see? How do you see? How do you feel when you see it? Who are you? Where are you spiritually investing yourself? These are wonderful questions Jesus is bringing to us, and they're perfectly appropriate for the time of Lent, of self-examination. As a man or woman thinks, so is that man or woman. Let's allow God's Spirit to transform us by the renewing of our minds. It was good to be with you this way, and I, I look forward to the next time. I'll talk to you soon. At least as early as Monday, Wednesday night, I'm going to do talk about forgiveness in another installment of our Wednesday night talks about how to forgive. Bye for now. God is good. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this time together. Thank you for who you are, Lord Jesus, for the searching, beautiful, surgical, and yet life-giving and delivering quali deliverance quality of your words as they come into our hearts. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be with everyone out there. Protect them, Lord Jesus. Protect our church. Protect their family. Protect their neighbors. And we lift this up to you, O Lord, in your majestic name. Amen.